Leyland Parish Church is ancient and generation after generation has worshipped here and passed on their experience of God and Jesus Christ. Over time, the building has changed to suit the needs of the worshippers and as we look around, these changes can be observed. We were approaching the 750th anniversary of our church in 1970. So what could we do to leave our mark on our own generation? We had observed that a number of churches were doing embroidery to enhance their places of worship and this idea took root in our minds. As we were considering some plan of action, we met Canon Eric Rothwell, who suggested that we should contact Guy Barton, who had been a master at Marlborough College, now retired, and whose beautiful canvases could be seen at places such as Lancaster Priory and Hesham Parish Church. So we contacted Guy Barton, who showed great interest in our desire to beautify our church and designed the canvases which you can now see. His wife, Mare, came along to the vicarage to meet the ladies who had shown willingness to learn how to work the stitches. Incidentally, the designs are now housed at Gawthorpe Hall, Paddyham, Burnley, in the Rachel K. Shuttleworth collection, as these designs are an art in themselves. We started the embroideries in the chancel with the kneeler for the Holy Communion rail. Other embroidery followed, such as the names of the Leyland Motors lorries. The remaining work is recorded elsewhere. Then, under the leadership of Mrs Nellie Marland, hassocks were made for the pews. The enthusiasm was now strong and we looked at the pews themselves and wondered what we could do about them. So back to Guy for his advice. He suggested cushions for the seating, which could be designed with an overall pattern of St Andrew's cross, and each cushion to have a disc, which the embroiderer could design herself, featuring local life or the embroiderer's own particular hobby or interest. There is no doubt that this project brought us together in a Christian atmosphere, as we work together to glorify our Maker and Redeemer.